there are a lot of people who have been contemplating whether they want to pursue ACC or not because of the rise of demand of this program in India specifically over the last decade. So in this video, I'm going to give you all eight reasons why you all should pursue ACC. And guys, before I jump into the benefits, please remember Zelle is a platinum approved learning provider where we've trained thousands of ACC candidates across the last few years. We probably have one of the highest student base in India with the largest faculty pool, all of whom are coming from the best of the companies in the industry. And we'll support you with whether it's registration support you need, whether it's exemption help, uh, whether it's the fact that uh, you need placement assistance and guidance, we will help you with all of it. Benefit number one, Duration. The biggest advantage ACC gives you is the time it helps you save compared to almost any other program. You can almost complete ACC within two, two and a half years on average. That's what most of our students at Zell complete it in. If by any chance it's extending, you can even go up to three years. It generally doesn't take more than three years, which means whether you started after your 10th, whether you started after your 12th, or even in the worst case scenario, you started a little late in life, you always have the time to complete it and catch up to the rest of your peers. Benefit number two, the flexibility that this course provides. So when I say flexibility, I mean a couple of things. One, you do not have to pressure yourself into giving a specific amount of papers at one time. You can go as, as slow or as fast as you want, giving you the comfort. If time is of importance, you can give multiple papers together by putting in a lot of effort. Let's say you're working or you have college exams, you can slow it down based on the speed that you want to pursue. The comfort of pursuing a qualification at your speed is one of the most comfortable aspects of this course and this gives you the advantage of saying that, okay, as long as I'm doing something, let me give it my best. I'll do it at my speed, which will ensure at its helm that it helps you pass everything in the first attempt. Benefit number three, exams being quarterly. Now, most papers, specifically CA, has the, well, I'll not call it a disadvantage, but it has a con that every half a year the exams are conducted, which means if you have either missed an attempt or by any chance you've not cleared it in the last attempt, you'll have to wait for half a year before you move on. ACC has one advantage, the exams are quarterly. So literally every three months you have the ability to give another exam. Even some qualifications like CFA in level two and level three don't have the flexibility of appearing for so many exams so quickly. Benefit number four, work experience. Work experience aspect of ACC is called practical experience requirement, PER. And what this means is that they expect you like our CA article ship to complete work experience for three years in any company in the field of finance and accounts. Now, whether you want to work during your exams, you want to work after, or you have some experience in the past, all of this is counted. Whether you worked in two different companies, 40 different companies, it doesn't matter. As long as you have a cumulative experience of 36 months uh, in the field of finance and accounts, it's all counted. This once again gives you the comfort that if you want to study and work together, Go ahead if you want to do it separately, your choice as whatever it takes to help you clear your exams, ACC is trying to provide us that. Benefit number five, the scope in India. In the last few years, the scope for ACC in the country has grown tremendously. Whether it's working in the big fours like APMG, Deloitte, PwC, EY, companies like Grand Thornton, BDO, all these companies are hiring ACCAs at the same level as that of CAs. This gives you the option of starting your corporate exposure as early as possible. If you want, try something else after a couple of years of experience and still be ahead of most people in the country. Next benefit is the scope overseas. ACCA being global in its very nature has the opportunity for you to study it in India, maybe gain a couple of years of work experience here, but then use the same qualification to travel across the world for work. Whether it's countries like Dubai, Singapore, UK, Canada, Australia, the more common countries where we've seen our students and faculty members migrate to, or another, any of the 180 countries where ACCA is recognized. These countries depend on ACCA as its only chartered accounting qualification in that country. And countries like UK have dual qualification, like there is an ICAW, which is the CA of UK, and there is ACCA, which also has the same kind of signing authority. So the scope overseas is also tremendous. Benefit number seven, when it comes to the eligibility, I don't think there's almost any course that has this much of flexibility. 
you can start ACCA as early as the age of 15 or 16, which is essentially post grade 10. And you actually can do it a little earlier as well. However, at Zell, we recommend that you have at least cleared grade 10. That being said, I think around probably 15% of our students who have all started post 10 and some of them have completed less than three years, which means they studied in their grade 11, half of grade 12, gave their boards and then by their first year of BCom, they became qualified chartered accountants, or at least qualified ACCAs. I think one of our students, Ayan, he completed it, I think in his first year of BCom and is now working at PwC as an ACCA. So the benefits of starting early are indefinite. Benefit number eight, exemptions. ACCA does not force you to give papers from the beginning just because you are starting ACCA afresh. They take your past qualifications into account and then based on that, they decide which exam or which level do you start from. So making it simple, if you are a beginner, essentially you are still in college, you have to appear for all the 13 papers or all the three levels of ACCA. If you are a graduate from any recognized university in India, you basically get the first level exempted. When you get the first level exempted, you almost save a year of your life. So the qualification time and the energy shrinks, making it easier for you to clear. If you are a, an inter-C or an IPCC student, either cleared or a dropout, you get even more exemptions. This once again gives you the ability to say that, okay, I already have some other qualification in my belt, partial qualification. Let me jump into ACCA, use my past knowledge to clear or gain certain exemptions in ACCA and then only clear balanced few papers. So if you're an IPCC student, out of 13 exams in ACCA, you get exemptions for six. That leaves you only half the qualification to clear. And if you're a final CA student, you have the highest advantage, which means out of 13 papers, you only give the final four or you only appear for the last level. This makes it the easiest option for you to choose ACCA if you want to upskill yourself from that of a CA. And just whether it's a graduate or an IPC student or a final CA student, these are just the options for Indian students. If you've studied MBA or Masters or anything else, ACCA will take your qualification into account and give you some or the other kind of exemption, making it even easier for you going further. And guys, before I move ahead, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Please leave comments if you've missed anything. All of this will help us reach out to more students like you guys who can benefit from these kind of videos. And if there's anything else you would like us to make, as always, do drop a comment.